works as follows. You put in some money for X amount of time. The bank calculates the interest once, adds it on at the end, and it says, okay, now you have the money you put in plus the interest we gave you, and that's it. Now you're thinking, well, how's this different from other things? Well, let me tell you, we're on Thursday of next week, we're going to do compound interest. The way this is different from compound interest is simple interest is calculated one time. Compound interest, if it's compounded monthly, after the first month, the bank calculates the interest, and then they put it back into your account. Then after the next month, you get interest on not only the original amount of money you had, but also the interest that they put in. So your interest starts earning interest. In your simple interest formulas, your interest never earns interest. You just get an interest payment once at the end of the Okay? Now, basically these are all the things we're going to do. We're going to do add-on loans, average daily balance, that's the one we're going to skip until the next time. Uh, we're going to calculate interest, future values, present values, all of that. We're going to skip the vocabulary, we'll get to it when we need it. Formulas. These are the formulas. Because we're going to need them and I expect you to just have them, I rewrote them over here, they're going to stay here for the whole class. So you can write them down now, or you can write them down there. How many of you bought a book for this class? I'm not surprised. How many of you went to breakmyprofessor.com? I've been informed that it says on there that I tell you everything you need to know. Don't bother to buy the book. I think I read that. I, I, I found out that's what it, I was told what it says. I haven't actually read it yet. Yeah, um, but I, well, I've heard that too. But again, I haven't been there yet. It's funny how you know, yeah. people come up with this. If you have the book, or if you are working with someone else who has not been in this class, they may have a different formula for interest when it comes to simple interest. The book has a formula, I equals PRT. I decided to stop using that formula altogether. And the reason for that is I found that students try to use that formula to calculate interest in every situation where they're told to find interest, and it doesn't work in every situation. It only works in special ones. Whereas the future value minus your principal is always what your interest is, how much you earn. Or if you're paying interest, the total amount that you paid in minus what you borrowed is the total interest that you pay. So that's why I have these two interest formulas and I skipped the I equal PRT formula. But just to warn you, the book has it and other people use it, but I found it's not Time 
in years. Okay, so now we're ready to move on? All right, now we can figure out what to do with this. I'm supposed to be finding interest. Am I paying stuff in? Not really. So I'm going to be using this formula. Interest earned equals future value minus the principal. So that means I need to start with what? Do I have the future value in my problem? No, I gotta find it. So, future value is equal to P. What's P for my problem? 